decided that underneath the um, nav station, there was a big dead space behind the little pullout um, that we built Lots for like a pantry. Real estate. So Rich cut open um, a cubby, and I'll show that to you in a minute. And um, he's wiring it with an electrical box right now because we think we're going to put um, maybe put, like, computer his computer in. down there. And so it'll be plugged in and kind of put away and not sitting out. Right now, it's it's right where the electrical panel is going to go. So we wanted to get it off of the table or off of that area and kind of put it somewhere. And there's no room on the nav station. It'd have to sit next to the electrical panel, and there wouldn't be any room there either. So this is like a little perfect spot. And then there was this weird little uh, diamond-shaped cutout um, that's underneath the nav station. Um, and there was a shelf in there, and it had this pretty big space, but you couldn't really get in there. So Rich cut another hole for another cubby, and there's already shelves in there. So he just has to finish the door, like make a door for each side, and then we'll have extra storage space. Hopefully. All right, so this is what he's doing. So there's one. I'm putting in double outlets on the underneath this little cabinet here. So, so yeah. there's a shelf that goes in there. Marine grade wire. And that that is the back of our slide out. So the slide out goes to there. And that's the plug. There'll be a shelf kind of high up midway. And then the rest will be for storage. And then back here. Oh. You can kind of see. Uh, it's kind of a big space. It's a really big space that's yeah. just wasted. So we don't know what we're gonna do this space. But you're gonna make doors, right? I don't know. Quite leave it open. No, you're not. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna make fucking doors. Okay. And always have to do a shot of the uh, tools effing everywhere. Tools there, got stuff there. Oh, look at this little mess. Here's some messes here. There's mess. There's mess all over the floor. On the couch. That's my mess. Poor little Sinky can't even get to her food. For me? Well. Where are they? They're standing there. I don't know. I think they're on top of the desk. Okay. Yeah. There you go. So it's a great little place to work, huh? <sighs> so earlier you were having a little fit about something. What was it? What were you doing? Oh my god. Trying to fasten things in places where humans can manipulate their bodies into little crevices. Fasten thingies in places? Yeah. It was a pill. You're doing the wire in place? <sighs> I'm doing the... Yeah, these are just... These are anchor zip ties with little screw anchors. Okay. We are still working on the cabinets um, today. And we, figuratively, because it's mostly just rich, um, he built these, he built these, um, frames for the doors, and I think he's, he's going to be building the rest of the doors this weekend. Here are the, uh, frames that he made for the doors. So these are made out of teak that he had left over when he made the bow platform. And so these are going to go, so you can see how they fit across the door um, but these came out very nice and he was actually lucky enough to be able to build them at the workshop at work before work one day because they have a really nice workshop there um, and just our little gratuitous shot of the little sleeping beauty here being all cute and snuggly in her little bed which she usually hates
I really want to wake her up. She's sleeping too soundly. She loves to wake us up. Oh well. One last little video, and then we're going to call it a weekend. So today is still Sunday, and Rich finally came back from the shed with some uh, work product that he had completed. And it looks like he worked on the shelving units that went inside the cabinet. One for his computer, which he actually cut vents in. It looks pretty cool. And the other one's just for the lower side. So I'll show those to you. Sorry about the lighting. I got a headlamp to show you what he did. So there is... That's where his computer's going to sit. That's the... Right there, that is the um, outlets that he just put in that he finished and then there's a lower shelf right there so even below that there's like a little bit of space um, it's slanted because it's it goes along the hull but can still put something down there and then his computer will sit up here and it's got some slats cut in it you can kind of see that um, for ventilation so that the um, computer won't get too hot hopefully 52, 54, 54, 64s. So that's half of that is 27, 64s. What I'm doing right now is I'm making a lap joint for the frame. Got all my little frame pieces cut. And each one is marked and they're going to go together like this. I thought you already made the frames. Overlaps. No, no, these are the actual doors. Yeah, oh, okay. I the frames. The frames are. These are the frames. So that goes around, that stays on this the This goes wall. in the hole. That goes this in the goes hole. in the holes that I cut. Okay. And then the doors fit inside. And I gotta do a lap joint. Show me the, what are you doing for the ventilation for the doors? Uh, right here. It looks like this. It's that pattern. And then primered it with metal primer. Hold it up a little bit. It's hard to see. Okay. Oh, you already primered it? I primered it at work, yeah cool yeah once I uh, once I finish the door frames then I'll route a mortise inside that that goes into and then I'll pin it in with little strips okay. yeah but anyway so I made this little I made a little dealy here little jig keeps it square and parallel so that as I go through this is what I'm cutting so I got to cut set it for depth and then I'm cutting this and then finish it up on the router table with a mortising bit. So basically what I'm doing is taking out this much material. So all that, everything here gets cut out and then likewise on the bottom side so that when you put them together it overlaps. So it gives you a good, a good glue joint. It's not super strong. I mean, it could be stronger, but I don't think it needs to be. I mean, these aren't heavy wear and tear door items. Um, 